All right. Welcome to It Is What It Is. I'm Sean Marie. I'm Jean. And we are going to talk about the sweet little boy out of West Yellowstone today. James Alexander. Yep, James Alexander. And we're using the cute new little mic. It's you, so Daddy. cute. Destiny got it for us. She's awesome. It looks like a little wiener. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It's little. <laughs> so I'm a little fuckered up, guys. Yeah, you got explaining to do. So, um, I she got Postmates. Seriously. <laughs> I got Postmates the other day. I got some, like, sweet up burrito. Uh-huh. And I had to tip these people. And I went outside to tip them. And I broke my fucking foot. Broke my ankle in three different spots. I got myself eight screws, one pin, and a plate put in. So I'm on bed rest in like a way again. That, that's why I commented on the Facebook page like that. That you're not. I said it's official. You're not going to be an ice skater when you grow up because black yeah. ice sucks. Yeah. And 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 here it's. As soon as snow starts to melt, and then we get rain, and then everything freezes again, because we're back into the 20s. So, black ice is everywhere here. Now I'm terrified to walk. Thank you very much. Good, you should be. I think of you every time I'm... It's snowing right now, too, so it's not comforting. No. You need a fireplace in here. Let's do it. No, I don't like the hot. Oh? I keep it cold. Oh. The hospital was like, oh my god, your room is cold. And I'm like, yeah, I know. The hospital's always cold, though. Yeah, they were bitching about how cold my room was. I was like, it's good. I'll Do you like that. the cold room and mountain the blankets, though? Yeah. It's a comfort thing. Yeah. 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 Ugh, so, yeah, I had to do one night at the hospital. One whole night. I had to stay there. Oh, so she's hurting for certain, huh? Yeah. Okay. But enough about that shit. So that, that's why we did not okay. have a podcast Sunday. We could do an extra long rant today, if you guys want. Probably not. No. <laughs> Probably not. She's medicated still. We're going to go through this together. But yeah, so we're going to talk about the, um, there's been four people officially arrested. The last guy just barely got arrested, so we'll cover him, I think, towards the end. Because like I said, his part in it just barely came about. Yeah. But we'll start with the three people we know for sure. And then, of course, the following questions I have with why is there not more than three? But anyway. So two of the three people arrested in the death of the 12-year-old sweet little baby boy outside of West Yellowstone in Gallatin County. They Montana. Were, and Yeah, in Montana. They were in court on Thursday the 13th of 2020. I don't know if I have to say that, but I guess I should for future purposes. But, um, so they get a call on the third to go out to the house because there's this little boy on Buffalo Road is not responding. He's found unconscious, they said. So they go out there. The cops are like, okay, this is way more than what you're saying that this is. Yeah. This is not just... He's unresponsive. He's unresponsive. This little boy's been beaten. Mm -hmm. So they take phones. They start their investigation, of course, because it's shady. They call in homicide. And they have to, the actual police have to turn it over to the homicide. So homicide now gets it. Inside this home, you have grandparents. An aunt and, uh, and two uncles and a cousin mm -hmm. inside the home. Mm -hmm. So first you have the little boy who is now deceased. His name is James Alex Hurley. He is 12 years old. And then James Sasser Jr. is the grandpa. Mm -hmm. And Patricia Bates is the grandma. Amen. Sorry. Is the cunt wad. But she is the grandma. Mm -hmm. And the juvenile boy, who's a little piece of shit. Wasn't he 14? 14 yeah. years old. James Sasser the third. Mm -hmm. The third. 
They have all been arrested for the offense of deliberate homicide. That guy's gonna have to do some severe counseling because at that point where where you are a you're kid just a little piece of and you're shit. supposed to be torturing this kid, can you imagine what that he guy's gonna be like as an adult? He does like, the most of it. Yeah. I thought the well, she lady. does too, but mm -hmm. like he's a little fucking. I don't even know. Like we should really just throw it away now. Yeah, it's useless. Yeah. My thoughts, I'm sorry, but if for, at 14 years old to do what this kid does, you're a little piece of shit and I don't know if we can fix you, bro. Well, was he scared that if he didn't no, do what she don't wanted? you dare come at me with some bullshit. <laughs> it's it's no. a normal gene question. No. Okay. He's a little fucking scum. He's a little piece of scum. He's just, ugh. They How dare you. It's outrageous what this boy so, went through. Yeah, so they find videos... And we do not know a whole bunch on this because this is new. So hopefully we do get to find out more as this goes on. And we will obviously update you guys too. But it's just insane, you guys. So they find videos of some of their... They're calling this torture, not just beatings. Torture. There's a difference. There's a difference between getting beaten up and being tortured especially when it's over especially when you're 12 years old yeah okay so oh god it's just so i'm bad. actually crying right i have a hard time with this one folks i really do because it's just nonsense his 18 year old aunt lived there as well as long as as well as a six-year-old nephew and oh well his uncle and then, of course, the 14-year-old seeming pile of shit. Which, I don't care. You guys can hate on me. I get enough hate from the podcast anyway. Like, I really don't care. You guys are steaming pile of shit. <laughs> this podcast is for entertainment only. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm not even going to say it anymore. It's yeah. like, why well, say it? <laughs> hey, hey, I don't care. Um. So, anyway. He starts living with them when his dad moves up there his father passes away so he had been living with them for about two years in Montana his mom lived in Texas so ever since his dad died he's been living with them she says Bates this is what Bates is saying this is what grandma the world's worst grandmother in the fucking world she's earned it yes says she has three biological children with James this is including Madison, who is 18 years old, James Sasser the uh third, -huh. the little fucking piece of poo, and a six-year-old. The when the when James's mom contacts the cops, she said she has been making numerous attempts to get a hold of her son, to get her son. Yeah. Ever since the father has passed, yeah, she has been trying to get such well, come on home yeah and all attempts have been stopped <coughs> by Grammy <coughs> by the world's worst grandmother Ugh. she's such a piece of shit well and see that's that's just unacceptable when a mom is reaching out to, to talk to her child she shouldn't be walking well then she tells she tells the cop she goes the boy's behavior has become increasingly problematic problem problematic blah 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 um, after the dad's passed, after the dad, bo the boy's dad passed away, sorry, um, including drinking alcohol and stealing items from families and stores. That's what he started doing. He started drinking and stealing. This is according to grandma. Uh-huh. Okay, go ahead. The grandmother. Was there a report to the stealing from stores? Yeah. Okay. Said that. James also told Grandpa and his uncles that he heard voices and had been observing self-harm. He was doing self-harming. He was mutilating himself, mm -hmm. causing himself injuries. The trio also stated that the boy had become suicidal. So Grandma and Grandpa and Uncle are now saying that he's suicidal. 
and that he was hurting himself and he was saying that he was hearing voices telling him to hurt himself and others. Okay, so I'm going to pop in right here. Uh-huh. If this, if that was true, and this boy honestly reached out to grandma and grandpa, uh -huh. let's just say you were in their shoes for five hot seconds, uh -huh. would you just try and beat it out of him or take him to the doctor? I think I'd take him away. Well, you take him to the doctor. Well, yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. just going to self-heal. Come on. So, okay, so the 14-year-old uncle stated that sometime during the last week of January, the victim ran into the corner of an entertainment center, causing an injury on his head and giving, that gave a gash that bled profusely. Grandma and Grandpa and the uncle stated that due to the boy's crazy behavior, they had to constantly watch his every move, including someone staying up with him at night to make sure he is not going to harm himself or anyone else. The trio stated that on or about the 27th of January, the 14-year-old uncle woke up in the middle of the night and saw sweet little James standing over grandma with a knife. So he tackled him and punched him several times in the body and the head. The detective noted in the court documents that this boy is 103 pounds and 5 foot 3 inches. Meanwhile, his uncle at the age of 14 is 300 pounds and 6 feet tall. Oh, good. So he is way bigger than sweet little James. Mm-hmm. The detectives also were not able to locate any record of family the family reporting these claims to law enforcement or to any type of doctor. Uh-huh. So Where's the paperwork? There's no yeah. paperwork to back up their claims of uh -huh. having mental problems. They just looked it up because they didn't report it. They didn't handle it. So you're just pulling shit out of thin air. So grandma, grandpa, sister aunt and uncle now sorry sister and brother and uncle all say that there was multiple instances of physical violence by the uncles by the uncle against the victim so the uncle is admitting sasser the third is admitting to being the one who does do most of the beating the uncle mm -hmm. the 14 year old mm -hmm. he had made a paddle out of wood with blue taped handles and would hit the boy multiple times mostly on his butt but sometimes other places a photo Who of the paddle to spank anybody? right um was located on the grandmother's phone so grandma had a picture of the paddle on her phone uh -huh. um sorry that was my husband calling <laughs> So, oh, he made me lose my spot, that ass. Okay. No, it's fine. So, yeah, spankings <laughs> on the bottom. And she had a picture of the phone, so and it's she not had it like on she, phone, so she was oblivious to phone. anything like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, <sighs> he had more injuries than just on his buttocks. The detectives observed it right off the, right off the bat, so they knew that this paddle was used more than just for spanking. Mm -hmm. It was used more for violence. On February 4th, his body was transferred to the to Missoula for an autopsy at the Montana Saint. Oh, the Montana State, sorry, crime lab. The examiner's preliminary told detectives Hurley that he died, that Hurley died from blunt force trauma to the back of his head. So it was the back of so his... the back of his head, skull was caved in. Yeah, the probably. back of this sweet little boy's head was what was hurt. During the search of Grandma and Grandpa's home, they found um, a wall with a... A wall... Like sorry. a fake wall? No, not a fake wall. Just oh. like a wall with blood on it that had spots of blood on it that they thought they had cleaned. Uh -huh. but had not oh so it was like they kind of found crime scenes it probably wasn't the first time there was blood on yeah. the wall 
You know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's they probably. So yeah, it does say that there was large amounts of blood um, throughout. They also found large amounts of blood in other areas of the houses that were cleaned up previously well attempted to have been cleaned up but the crime lab still found oh sorry i had to answer else he just wouldn't stop calling well he's concerned. anyway he's doing so good. during the interviews each family member denied there ever being large amounts of blood within the home uncle 14 year old uncle when he was interviewed by detectives said that he had multiple interactions take place between him and the boy the last one occurred February 1st, 2020, around midday. He denied hitting the boy in the head with the paddle, but said that they had fought on the 27th. And that one was 10 times worse. The January one? The January 27th mm -hmm. was worse. So Madison told detectives that she went, she went and watched the Super Bowl on the second with friends in west yellowstone and everyone was asleep when she arrived home that evening she reported that james was asleep on the floor in the living room and her grandmother was sleeping on the couch she told the detectives that to her knowledge nothing had happened after she arrived home but also said that she texted but also sorry she had texted friends that she believed that her brother had killed James. Grandpa reported to have been sleeping during the Super Bowl, but stated that his son and James got into an altercation. He reported that he woke up the morning of Monday, February 3rd, and went on his way to work, he learned that Grandma had found out the boy had died. So grandpa had left from work. He left to go to work. Didn't even check on the boy. Grandma calls. Says he had that James passed away. Grandma told detectives that she was also sleeping during the part of the Super Bowl, but was awoken to the uncle and James fighting. The 14-year-old boy was striking him with a paddle. She denied that Hurley was hit in the head with the paddle, though. The grandmother minimized the fight during the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. but did say that the fight on the 27th, just like the uncle said, that that was a really bad fight. That was a bloodbath, is what she said. She reported that the boy slept on the living room floor the night of this February 2nd and was mumbling and moaning throughout the night. And then she found his morning his body the morning of the third and he was deceased she called 911 after finding the body when the cops got there cop phones belonging to grandma grandpa madison and the 14 year old were seized by detectives in reviewing these phones they have found out that the family was all in cahoots and talking about it here's kind of a timeline of events that are even kind of sad mm -hmm. on December 12th 2019 a video of grandma showing the boy being forced to do jumping jacks while holding his buttocks area crying and saying he had to go to the bathroom grandma repeatedly can be heard in the video mocking him on January 10th 2020 a video Grandma of Grandma shows the boy standing near a garage door, bent over, holding his head in his hands, rocking him back and forth, saying no and moaning. Another video, timestamp two minutes later, showed the boy crying out and saying, oh, it hurts so bad. Several videos show the boy being forced to sit against the wall or the door in the squatting position. Several other videos showed the boy being forced to do jumping jacks as a punishment. Another video on the 10th shows the 14 year old boy sitting against the garage door crying, saying, I fucking hate this. 
A large male can be seen in the video hitting a boy with a piece of wood. The boy can be heard screaming and making comments about suicide. On January 17th, a video on grandma's phone shows the boy has cut his face and his wrists. On January 23rd, the video on grandma's phone shows the boy um, being forced on the wall, pinned between the wall and the couch with his arms in the air above his head. He repeatedly does he repeatedly does not have a shirt on and has red marks and injuries on his shoulders. The boy can, re can reportedly be seen starting to fall asleep, resting his head against a window trim. Grandma can be heard saying, wait up, wake up, get your fucking head off there. In another video, Grandma can be heard telling the boy to keep his hands apart and open in the air. James is crying out and visibly shaking, saying that he hurts and that his head hurts. Grandma can be, Grandma can is heard being said, being told, who cares, is what Grandma says. On the 27th, a video on Grandma's phone again shows the boy only wearing underwear, being forced to stand in front of fans in the dining room Throughout the video, Grandma is heard beating the boy while the six-year-old uncle is in the scene, acting if this is a normal occurrence. So the six-year-old boy comes into that video and just goes about his day. He's not even phased. He's not even phased by it. Mm -hmm. This poor little baby is just walking through it like it's normal shit. How fucking horrible is that? You know, I'm going to say, have you ever had to stand and hold yeah. your arms up for a long, long yeah. time and then it... It hurts. Yeah. It's horrible. But but she's in it. She never she never took him to the hospital. At any of these points where he was so injured, mm -hmm. I mean, if your child's hurt, you take him in. I don't know. Another video I can't believe it. on the 17th that was on the uncle's phone shows James standing in front of a fan in his underwear. And grandma saying, you are not even human. You are some type of thing. When detectives locate videos of James from two years ago, the boy had apparently been well, healthy, well fed. At the time of his death, he appeared to be starving. Um, Detective also observed a good portion of the house, a good portion of the food in the house was locked away under lock and key. On the 17th, 14 year old piece of shit Texas grandpa at 807 says, I'm going to end up killing him today. On the 27th, the 14 year old searches for what was the longest coma? On February 2nd, he searches for what are symptoms of a brain injury? Um, concussion symptoms. How to tell if someone has a concussion. During various interviews, detectives determined that James had been taken out of school in September of, of 2019. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Court documents appear that few people have had contact with the boy in the last several months outside of the family. Um, grandma said that she and grandpa didn't take him to the, to get um, help because they were in fear of losing their other children or having something happen to them. So grandma's bell is set at 70... Oh wait. 750,000. Yeah, and grandpa's is five. 500,000. Yeah, 500,000 mm -hmm. with no contact with anybody mm -hmm. or the children. And um, little assholes is also the same as grandpa's. This is 500,000 mm -hmm. as well. And he will be in court soon, in the youth court, yeah. I believe. 
He's not going to, well, maybe. Do you think he'll get tried as an adult or? Yeah. Fuck yeah. And then this new cat. And yeah, and then I, we're coming up to him. Oh, sorry. Um, so, Gage Rauch, who's 18 years old. Roach. Roach. R oh, Roush. 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 He is the one seen in the video hitting him in the legs. Which one? Which when video? he was being oh. held up against the wall. Hmm. Um, so it says in his article that a Yellowstone man was identified in one of the videos of a 12 year old being abused and neglected. He is being charged with a mine, with a minor, a felon, with oh, assault to a minor, a felony. Mm -hmm. He was in court on Friday. He is being held on a $5,000 bond. Um, he is the one in one of the videos dated January 10th. In the video, he can be seen striking her, striking James with his hands and a wooden paddle. James is seen crying and screaming. I fucking hate this. And, a, and screaming in pain. The man hit James is wearing clothes similar to the clothes being worn by Gage. Mm -hmm. In photos posted on Facebook. During an interview, little nephew, I mean little uncle, identified him as being one of the guys that he also would go over there and beat up on his cousin. So, they I don't know why the sister is not being arrested. The aunt... Yeah. I don't understand. I think the aunt should be arrested too. She had knowledge of what was... You can't live in the same home with that kind of abuse being the norm. No. And not think that that's wrong. Well, and like friends of the grandmas come out and the grandma... They're like, oh, well, we know grandma didn't like him. Grandma said we, that she didn't like him. All this shit. Aren't any of you guys accountable for not seeking help for this little boy? Like... No one thought it'd be a good idea to be like, well, hey, if you hate him so much, why don't you send him back to Texas? Yeah, put his ass on a Greyhound mm -hmm. to, to, where is it, Cleveland, Texas is where mom went. I think so. Yeah. Well, that's where he was born. So we printed Especially out. Especially when she's trying to get a hold of your ass to talk to her son because yeah. his dad just died and I would want him home. Yeah. I just, I, I, I uh, this is ridiculous. You could have given him back to his mom versus mm -hmm. beating him and killing him and torturing him i guess you're right they didn't they they couldn't send him back no because he would have said something yeah and that's just it too it's like why mm -hmm. not send him back because you can't send him home because now he's going to tell on us and now it's going to be more than just we're in trouble you know but now it is now you're in way more than just trouble because you killed him because yeah what what could he have been doing so wrong? If he's in an abuse situation, it's not like he's seeking out to have temper tantrums and be an asshole and they're trying to justify. I think that's where my anger is coming from. Them justifying all of these yeah. actions, but it doesn't follow it up because if he was that crazy and that out of control, West Yellowstone is small, um, but Bozeman's uh, uh, right there. That's a college town. They got hospitals there. There's hospitals and buildings. There's, you know, come on. You would have gotten, if you were actually innocent and just controlling him from hurting himself. As she said. And she read that before. Yeah. You know? Bullshit. Dude, I'm telling you, I don't know. It's just so fucked up. And people like this. And what's pissing me off even more is that the daybells are overshadowing this poor boy. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't, I don't want to give that woman media attention anymore. She always has that smirk on her face. I have such a hard time. Well, we have that. to keep updating no, everybody I know. I'm about not it, saying but, that we won't, but I just want to slap her because she always has that smirk on her face because she's not concerned about. Well, she already knows what's going on. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. So we printed. I printed off his <coughs> obituary. I don't want to read all of his like their names out loud because mm -hmm. I let these people just have a moment, but. 
He was born in Cleveland, Texas on September 8th, 2007. Um, he passed away in Montana in Yellowstone um, on February 3rd, 2020. He is survived by his mom, his stepdad, his brother, his grandparents on his mom's side, um, his more aunts and uncles. He does. He is preceded in death by his dad, Tommy Tate. Um, a funeral service has yet to be arranged. He died in Montana, and his mom will be bringing his ashes back to Cleveland, where they will have a memorial service down there. Um, where it will be held at the Cornerstone Church in Cleveland, Texas. There's no date yet. Um, his body is being held right now for investigation purposes, so he has not been able to be cremated he yet. He can't be released yet. So when all that happens, he will go home to his mom finally. He'll get to go home to Texas. So that's what's happening up here in these here parts around oh. the world. Unreal. I mean, I guess yeah. just to have the stones to to torture, not only torture someone, but torture a kid, and just be fine with. Abuse. Well, it happens. It happens all the time. Abuse happens every day, every day, all day long in America. It happens. People live through it, but it happens, unfortunately. And this is just one of those extremely sad cases that no one noticed that this little boy was in, in school. Mm -hmm. His mom, I don't know what his mom's situation is, unfortunately, that's not in this. But like, I don't know, you don't know why him and his dad were up there. And these are things that hopefully come out in the trial and will make more sense and we just gotta wait. But his story needs to be told before then. His, I hate how everybody waits to tell stories because they need to be told. Mm -hmm. This poor, sweet little guy did nothing but be left with horrible fucking people that are just the worst of the worst. <coughs> Was so. he pulled out of school after his dad? That's probably when the majority of the abuse yeah. went on. Yeah. Or I guess we... Well, yeah, obviously, Gene. I don't know. see them... I don't see his dad being a part of it. You know? I don't know. I just... I just don't understand that. If you don't want him that bad and you can't stand be around him and, and your other kid wants to kill him and there was no... Because, um... The... The junior 14-year-old kid... What was his name? James? <laughs> So he had no, no consequence from mom about how he, he was treating this child at all. Because it was just encouraged for his well, family yeah. of abuse. And she's seen in videos, like, strangling this sweet poor little boy. Poor little James, dude. That, Against the wall. Yeah, yeah, and, like, knocking, like, pat making him pass out. Hitting him to, like, wake him back up. And like this poor little guy, like you guys, really, this poor little boy, it's horrible. And then you videotape it. In this day and age, you are either the dumbest motherfucker, <coughs> that's really it, you're the dumbest motherfucker in the world. Oh yeah, document it. Yeah, yeah document it. Absolutely. All, all, yeah, awesome, dude. Mm -hmm. Right ahead. Go ahead. Push record. Everybody talking it too. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, the cops didn't even have to try. They didn't have yeah. to get a, a warrant or nothing. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's just retarded. Like, because they can they can unlock and they can see what you've deleted. Nothing is ever deleted. Yeah. Like if people honestly want to sit there and be like, "Well, no, I deleted that." It makes me feel. Oh, okay. Bad. I'm glad you think you deleted that, but you didn't. Like you guys, it's just don't. And the fact that he was a baby. Yeah. 12 years old. What's a 12 year old really going to do that? that and you outweigh me bad. by 200 pounds, bro. Fuck you. What 
what that kid was going through. I mean, just to be scared all the time, knowing, well, no matter what I do, it's not going to be right. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah, that poor little boy, dude. Just, oh, my God. And no one. And there's so many people, because, I mean, we got we listed off four people that lived with this fucking kid. Mm -hmm. There's so many people that you would think someone's going to fucking save you. Someone around you has decency. And no one did. Well, and I'm, I'm, I had read that the, the school was providing counseling for the student because it was a small community. Yeah. It said everybody knew this family. Mm hmm And, you know, all the kids were upset about what had happened and how he was treated. Yeah. You know, and I don't know. I guess there's just monsters everywhere. I don't know. I, I just don't understand why they just didn't send him back and let him live. Whether you get in trouble or not. Just send him back to mom. It's just horrible. Let him become something in life. Let him survive that. Good lord. Right. Right. Dude, you're, I don't even... Ugh. It just pisses me off. People are so horrible. Absolutely I, horrible. I couldn't even read it out loud. I was reading a friend of mine the article when I first found it and just... Couldn't even read it out loud because it just, it just, it tears my heart up. It's so unnecessary for a baby to die like that. Yeah. You know? And then that sweet little girl passed away also. Oh. That sweet little six-year-old girl. Yes. <laughs> Playing in her yard. Look up her name for me real quick. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, this sweet little angel, all she was doing was playing in her front yard. And I'm assuming... The neighbor had something to do with it. His body was found right after. Yeah, I believe that. I don't know why it's taking. What are you doing? I'm trying to get to East Idaho. You take so long. You go the long way about everything. <laughs> she did. She. Guys, she is. Is she is, older <laughs> than you know what I mean? It's sweet dog. Yes, All right. Sometimes. Do you want to find it, Miss Know It All? I might do it faster. All right. Oh, what about that lady that was fun? Oh, no one cares. Huh? Yeah, see, I don't even know. Why are you here? Why are you here? Jean. She has you, to guys, control, you, guys, you guys. You guys. You guys. You guys. You guys. What is that sweet? <coughs> okay, yeah, so I found it. In South, from South Carolina, this poor sweet little girl six-year-old Faye pronounce her last name for me so I don't da, 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 da. Faye where? right there Jean S oh Sweatlick Sweatlick Sweetlick Sweatlick Sweatlick yeah this sweet little angel dude she was playing in her front yard and then her mama realized that she was missing and they found her body in a place nearby I guess which oh. led back to the neighbor's house or something I'm not 100% sure on that one. I just know that that sweet little angel's been found. I saw that update, and that was just heartbreaking. You guys, it's just too much. <laughs> Babies shouldn't have to die. It's just so horrible. Truly, truly, truly horrible. But, yeah. <coughs> no, it's not fair. At all. No. And I just wanted to get James's story out there because it's just fucked up. No one should have to die like that, and especially at the hands of your family. So I just had to tell James Alexander Hurley's story so that everybody knew that this poor, sweet 12 year old boy was viciously taken out of this planet mm -hmm. by the worst of the worst his family. And it's just horrible it's awful and there's no excuse i don't care what these people are going to come up with during this court or whatever we're going to hear about but there's just no excuse for any of it i don't care what you claim that this poor sweet child had or how scared you were of him 
You could have sent him home, sent him somewhere. Mm -hmm. Something could have been done. You didn't need to take this poor baby's life, and you did. Mm -hmm. So for that, the three of you can fuck. The four of you can fucking rock. Enjoy your power in prison. Let's and, see how much power you have over people. And there. let's just hope we can pray and hopefully inmate justice will happen and we'll get some jailhouse justice here. The best. At well, best. Um, yeah. Absolutely. It'll be taken justice. care of. Because. So that's all we got time for this week because I'm just, I'm not 100% into it. I ain't gonna lie. And we are going to record H.H. Holmes next for my little brother's birthday. Oh, it's a sneaky. Yeah. Yeah. And that's who his favorite is, is H.H. Holmes. So I figured I'd tell him a story and <laughs> let you guys listen. So, yeah. Meanwhile, I'm going to be sitting here on my bed and drug the fuck up and in all sorts of pain and torture. I use an old lady walker to get around my home. <laughs> and you just baby so, yeah. that and let it heal properly it's super sad and I'll be sitting around so if you guys want to chat <laughs> what up <laughs> I'm just chilling I ain't got shit to do and they take away my kids when I get hurt okay guys I've never broken a bone before either this is the first bone in my oh, entire oh traumatic honey yeah. oh no yeah. So when I do something, I don't fuck around. I go big. Yeah. And I go hard. Yeah, you did a good job. So. The, uh, can I tell? The x-ray, it's it's like she said. Oh, I'll post them on the group. Food. I'll post them on the group. I'll yeah. post them. Yeah, for sure. Right in half. You did a good job. I did. I fucked myself up pretty mm -hmm. nicely. So I'm chilling, guys. I'm in a hell of amounts of pain from my head to my toes. And it's time for medicine. So that's really why I'm ending this. Because I'm in just hell of amounts of pain. Well, thanks for the city, though. Yeah. yeah. So, poor little James. That's just his story. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, follow us on Twitter at it is what it is 208 because that's where we are from. Um, on Instagram, it is what it is pod19, all one word. On Facebook, it is what it is a true crime podcast. On YouTube, it is what it is a true crime podcast as well. And I just did that all fucked up. And, like, I haven't even been able to see straight for, like, a couple of days. It's been all kind of blurry. Oh, honey. So, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> so, yeah. Peace the fuck out, guys. <coughs> Thanks. See you.